Okay guys, uh, today we are going to talk about concentrations of a solution. So if you haven't done so already, please get out your notes and be ready to follow along with me. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a presentation here, have some time practicing molarity, see a couple of videos, and then get you guys ready or prepared for lab tomorrow. So let's get going here. Uh, we want to talk about molarity. Molarity is concentration of a solute in solution. So we've done molarity a little bit previously this year. Uh, but let's get it officially into our notes and be able to do some calculations with it. So we symbolize molarity with a capital M. And if you look at it, it's moles of your solute divided by liters of your solution. So its label is derived as moles per liter. Now if you notice, it's liters of solution, not liters of solvent. So when you work with molarity, you need to do, deal with the entire solution volume, not just your solvent stuff. So please be aware of that, maybe underline this or kind of star this area here so we're dealing with actual our solution volume not our solvent volume. Now here's a couple of issues we have with molarity. Um, you notice how we have moles per liter. Um, we really can't measure in moles in lab so we have to be able to work in grams and convert from grams to moles. Uh, what that means for us is that we have to be able to do a little stoichiometry and be able to use molar masses to get from grams to moles and moles back to grams. So we'll be doing a little bit of review of that and then also in lab, we usually work in milliliters, so be prepared to jump in and out of liters to milliliters to convert between these also as we go through the stuff. So remember, there's a thousand milliliters in one liter, and we'll be ready to concentrate that. So let's take a look at our first uh, practice problem to work with this equation this, in this concentration. What is the molarity of a potassium chloride solution that contains 85 grams of potassium chloride in a volume of 400.0 milliliters? Okay, so we want to get to moles per liter and I've given you grams of your solute and a volume of 400 milliliters. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to do your converting and solve for this practice problem. So I expect that everyone's working on this and solving for it. So please pause the presentation while you guys are solving this. Uh, we'll take a look at the answer key for this now. And if you take a look, our first step is to go from 85 grams of potassium chloride. Uh, our molar mass is 74.55 grams per mole and we have 1.14 moles of potassium chloride. Our 400 milliliters is really 0.4 liters, so 1.41 moles of potassium chloride divided by the 0.4 liters, and we should get 2.85 molarity, um, or sometimes called 2.85 molar solution. Uh, two different labels are acceptable here. You can use the capital M, or you can label it moles per liter. My actual preference is using moles per liter because the capital M doesn't tell us the whole story, moles per liter does, so if we're using it later on, we, we know that we're talking about moles in a liter of solution. That's my preference. So, Okay, let's move on to question two. You want to make 100.0 milliliters of 0.25 molar solution of magnesium nitrate. How many grams of magnesium nitrate do you need? Now this is a very classic chemistry lab problem. You want to make a certain solution, you want it to be a certain concentration, and you want a very specific amount of it. So what you need to figure out is, well, how much of my solute am I going to put in this 100 milliliters of solution? So this is like one of the most classic examples of a concentration problem right here. Um, again, I've given you your volume in milliliters. Now I've given you your concentration, so you have to work backwards to find the grams of this one. Uh, we will see the answer key for this one. And again, our 100 milliliters, we convert over to 0.100 liters. Our 0.25 molar really means the same thing as 0.25 moles per liter. So we can take our equation that molarity is moles over liters and say that molarity times liters then will give us our moles. So you take your concentration times your liters. Notice how liters here will cancel out. And we want to make 0.025 moles of our solute. Well, 0.025 moles of your solute, take your moles, um, your grams per mole, your molarity. Sorry, your, your molar mass, grams per mole, 0 0.025 times 148.33 grams, and we end up with 3.7 grams of magnesium nitrate. Okay, We went down to only two sig figs here because we really only want a solution with a precision of two sig figs, so measuring out this much mass is all we really need. If we want a more precise uh, concentration, we have to measure out our mass more precisely to get that same concentration. 